Welcome. This video is about arithmetic sequences and uh, or arithmetic sequences, if you prefer. Uh, an arithmetic sequence tends to increase or decrease by the same amount, and the relationship between the numbers is add or subtract. There's no like uh, this term times two times two times two. That's a geometric sequence. What we're going to talk about specifically is how to find the next terms in sequence, and then we're going to talk about the nth term. The nth term is sort of like um, it's a bit like an equation. If you'd seen the video on equation patterns, graphs, and tables. If you haven't, it might be a good idea to watch it. Uh, the nth term is sort of like the equation that you can use to find whatever term value that you want. Almost like a machine. Plug in term value, get actual value. Uh, usually the formula for that falls somewhere in the range of the nth term is equal to a n plus B. Now, the n value here would be the number of term. A value here would be the amount of change, so almost like the slope. And the B value, would, much like the slope intercept, would be the starting point or where, what you have to add to the sequence in order to get to the values in the first place. You'll see. Now, uh, the difference between sequences and patterns in terms of the patterns that you may have seen in the other video is that there's no x value and y value but there really is. The x value is really just the number of terms in sequence, so you're looking at it as an n value. This is n of 1, 2, 3, and 4, because it's the first one that you see. So in order to find the next terms, I need to find out what the difference is. It's called the common difference in an arithmetic sequence. And I'll use those interchangeably, by the way. So from negative 23 to negative 26, I'm going down 3. Uh, to get to negative 29, I'm going down 3 again and I'm going down 3 again here. So in order to get the next two terms in sequence, I'm going to go down by 3 and get negative 35, and then I'm going to go down 3 more and get negative 38. So I can say that these are my next two terms in sequence, and you continue on. Now to find the nth term, I need to figure out, number one, how much it's changing, and number two, uh, what my starting off point would happen to be. In order to find my change, uh, like before, we had to divide the y value by the x. Well, here, the x value change is always 1 because they're just going up one term at a time. So your change here would represent your a value. So it's going down by 3. And the other part I need to deal with is the uh, intercept, or the <coughs> plus b. So I need to go back to where it would be the 0 term. The 0 term doesn't exist, but I just follow the pattern. I go down 3, so the opposite means I go up 3 to each number. So uh, to what number do I have to start out to subtract 3 from to get negative 23? Well, minus 20. So I'm going to take this value as my b, so it's minus 20. And you can test it if you want. The second term in sequence would go here, so I do negative 3 times 2, which give you negative 6. Minus 20 would give you negative 26, and that is this value for the second term in sequence. So it works perfect. You could get any term you want now, because you have the nth value. Uh, the next one down, I'm going to look at it's going down by 5 every time. So my next terms in sequence, I'm going to go down 5 from here, which would be negative 30. Uh, 3, and then I'm going to go down 5 again, and it gives me negative 38. It's just a coincidence that negative 38 is in there. So to find my nth term, my change every time is negative 5, and my uh, 0 term, so I've got to go back, I've got to add 5 here, would give me negative 8, so negative 5 in minus 8. Uh, pretty simple. The next one, I need to find out what the difference is. So to go from 4 to negative 26, I'm actually going down negative uh, 30. Don't do the 26 minus 4 thing and write 22 there. That's a problem. Or 26 minus 4, you get 22. Uh, go down again, it's negative 30. And go down again, and it's negative 30. As long as these are the same, it's an arithmetic sequence. Um, so my next term would be down 30 from there, which would be negative 1. Ugh, 116. My pen's starting to ink out again, and it's driving me insane. Um, and the next one down, of course, would be negative 146. To find my nth term, I just look at the change. It's been negative 30 every time, so negative 30 in. Then I've got to find my zero point. So I'm actually going to go, uh, what do I have to subtract from 30 to get to 4? So I'm really going to add 30 to 4 and get 34. So I can say negative 30 and plus 34. To test that out, uh, I want my third term right there, which would be here, should be negative 56. I would plug in negative 30 times 3, which is negative 60. And if I add um, 
34 back to it. Negative 30 times 3 plus 34, it would give me negative 56. I lost my mind there for a second. So this does actually equal, uh, if I did this, It actually does equal negative 56. So it does work in value, in value, in value. That's the nth term. Uh, that's how you show the next terms in sequence. So arithmetic sequence is not a huge deal. And uh, that is it. So good luck.